I remember the first major slump that I had. I wanted to quit this business so bad. I had some initial success and things were going great. And one by one, they started unraveling and falling apart. People I knew would be with me forever in this business. They started to quit. Some bad things started happening in the company. The world started caving in on me. Not just my business, but on me. And about six months after I joined this industry, I had to ask myself, Mike, what are you going to do if you don't do this business? I mean, think about that. What are you going to do if you don't do this business? I'd made out my reasons and my goals why I was doing this business. I got my goals out and I went over my 20 reasons, my, my, my top three reasons. And I said, Mike, other people have done this. They've done this and doggone it, you can do it. Do you want your reasons bad enough? Or do you want to stay in this dead-end, frustrating job punching the clock for the rest of your life? What do you really want? And I had come to grips with the fact that anything worth doing is not going to be easy most of the time. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some dedication. Ladies and gentlemen, where can you go in this country and develop a six-figure passive income without getting an education? Where can you develop a six-figure income, forget the passive part of it, without an education? What professions in this country offer a six-figure income? Think about that for a second. What professions in this country offer a six-figure income? Doctors, lawyers, veterinarians, real estate brokers. You know, we can name a lot of professions. But the bottom line is they all require an education. The problem is that people, they come into this industry... And they're trying to do it with the skills and attitudes that they came here with. Did you, did you hear that? They try to do it with the skills that they brought with them. Instead of developing and getting that education and developing the skills and attitudes necessary for success within this industry. I don't care how successful you've been in other areas and other businesses and other opportunities. Network marketing is totally different. We are in the leadership development business, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter how good you are in other businesses. It doesn't matter how good of a communicator you are. It doesn't matter how good you are. Because if what you're doing cannot be duplicated, then you're out of the business. You will cease to exist within network marketing. So there's a lot of concepts that are the direct opposite of what, you know, what traditional businesses are within network marketing. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why you're here. I, I truly don't know why you're listening to this CD right now. Only you know that. And someone has recognized that you're in a funk right now in your business and you need some help getting out of it. My job is to do my very best to help you get refocused, redirected, and come out of that funk. And if we can get your business off to the right start, maybe take your thumb out of your mouth a little bit. Quit whining. Quit making excuses. Make a solid commitment once and for all. I'm going to get myself educated because there's no opportunity in the world that can give me the lifestyle and freedom that's available through network marketing. That's what we want to do today. We want your mindset to start thinking, I'm going to get educated. I'm going to get my beliefs. I'm going to get my reasons. I'm going to learn how this business works because there's no opportunity in the world that can give me the lifestyle and freedom that's available through what I'm doing right now in network marketing. Now, a lot of people, they become frustrated about network marketing. I can tell you, I've been there. I've seen it many, many times. People get excited. They're like ignorance on fire. They've got visions of grandeur and mansions and Porsches and Ferraris. And all of a sudden, they hit the funk. The thing that starts a funk, it's skepticism. It's, maybe this is not going to work for me. Maybe it works for other people, but maybe this won't work for me. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, in this business, there are four key beliefs that must be developed. You have to develop them to have success in this business. The first one is having belief in the product or service that you're marketing right now. The second is within your company. You've got to have belief in what company you're involved with. The third is within the network marketing profession itself and the validity of this industry. And the fourth is within yourself, which is the most important. That's what we're going to talk about on this CD. Those are the four beliefs. Until you develop belief in those four key areas, you cannot create long-term, sustained success in network marketing. If you think about this, 
most people in the country, most people in the world, they have less than 10 true beliefs in their entire life. This is a completely different training. I, I don't have time to, to discuss opinions, attitude, and beliefs here today. But to simplify this, we all have a lot of opinions. We have opinions about everything. We have opinions about things that we don't need to have opinions about because we don't know anything about it, but for some reason we still got an opinion about it. We've got an attitude, and attitudes are much stronger. It's a much stronger mental frame of mind. An attitude is much stronger than an opinion. When you have an attitude about something, you're pretty convicted about it. You walk with your, with your chest out a little bit farther. But a belief is much, much stronger than an attitude. When you believe, it doesn't matter who says what about anything. You know what you know what you know, and you will not be taken away from that belief. I'm trying to communicate that in order to be successful in this industry. You must have a 100% belief level in yourself, the company, the product, and the network marketing profession. If you have a negative belief, it's going to affect the other three areas. If you just have one little bitty negative belief in one of the areas, it's going to affect the other areas. When you have true belief, it doesn't matter what negative is thrown your way. It's like lint on your jacket. You just wipe it off. It don't matter. Lint on your jacket. It's just, just flick it off. Nobody can touch you when you have that type of belief. It doesn't matter. So you must have a belief in the company. Look at the company's history. Look at the company's founders. What's their background? Do a home office tour if you need to. Go visit the company. But you need to get real about the company itself. How long have they been in business? Are they a member of uh, some of the direct sales associations or Better Business Bureau or whatever? But find out about the company. You need to take some time. And really investigate the people behind the company and the product. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's a lot of products and companies that are junk in network marketing. They're junk. They're flat out junk. But on the other hand, there's a lot of great companies out there with great products. You have to become real about your products. You have to become, they have to be real. You've got to believe in your products. If you don't have a product that you would be using regardless of whether there was a pay plan attached to it, then you might need to find a new product line in a new company. You must have belief in the company. You must have belief in the product. If you don't have those beliefs, how are you going to share that with other people? I mean, that's just common sense. If you don't have belief in your company and the products, something's wrong. You've got to have belief in those two areas. I'm amazed that people can go with a weight loss product, and they can market it to 12 people. Ten people come back, and they're raving fans about it. They get results while using the product. They feel better while using the product. They may have some health benefits. as Maybe they lose some inches. Maybe they lose some fat. Maybe they get real skinny. I mean, they love the product, 10 out of the 12. And on the other hand, two people that you sold it to, they didn't like the product. They say they didn't have results. Or, or, or maybe they only took half the bottle and they didn't like the way it made them feel or whatever. It's amazing that half the people, you know who they focus on? They're going to focus on the two people that hate it rather than the ten people that truly had their lives touched by the product. It's amazing how human beings always focus on the negative rather than the positive. Have you been doing that? Have you been focusing on the wrong things? Are you focusing on the 10 people who had their life touched by your product that you just shared with them and sold them and they're consuming it and they're using it every month? Are you focusing on the two people that are just whining and complaining and want their money back? Think about this. Does your company have testimonies? If you know the product works, you can see it all across the world of people making a change in their life. If your company's got testimonies on audio or maybe videos, go through them. Listen to them. Watch the videos. Understand the testimonies. Get real with your product line. Get real what it's doing for people. You must develop a true belief in the company, the products, and the network marketing profession. The, the, the industry of network marketing. Let me share you with this. If, if you haven't read Who Stole the American Dream by Burke Hedges, I suggest that you do so. It's an awesome book. I mean, it's awesome. It totally changed my outlook on this entire network marketing business. Now, there are a lot of great books out there that talk about the validity of this profession. 